Hey guys, what's up? It's Reaper Jin Guy here, and before I start this video, I just want to remind you guys that I own none of the pictures in this, and um, if there's any watermarks that were on the pictures to say you were the creator, I left them in so that you guys could go look up the creators. If you want to, go ahead. They are great. I love every image that I have in this video. But without further ado, let's start with our, our top five... <laughs> ghost type Pokemon. If you didn't hear um, or you didn't read the title, title you lazy shit. Uh, <laughs> um, these are mine and Linny's top five ghost type Pokemon. Yup. And uh, we're going to kind of rotate back and forth. It's going to be my turn and then her turn. And hopefully we don't lose track. <laughs> so... Let's start off with my number five, Sableye. I really like Sableye because with the new Mega Evolution, he is, or he or she, I guess, is arguably one of the best defensive Pokemon in the higher tiers, and its typing's really good. Um, until six gen, it had no weaknesses, which was amazing, and then. Boom, fairy. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I was just biting my tongue. <laughs> I'll say it for you. <laughs> I, I'm not looking forward to making a top five fairies, by the way. But, um, stat-wise... Pikachu, you missed out last week. Shut up. Let's throw... One second, guys. We're going to have a moment real quick. Okay. Oh, that was a good talk. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that, um, yeah, that's pretty much Sableye. Let's go to Linny's number five. Okay. My top five would be Miss Magius. Because it's like, you know, a jellyfish. And that's cool. And it's ghost. And look at that picture. <laughs> Is that all you want to say about it? Yep, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my number four is Frostlass. And I think I've Frostlass was on my top ten favorite Pokemon. I think. Somewhere. Maybe. <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I, I don't really remember. Um, I know it was on the top something or other. Because I remember this picture exactly. Did you do an ice tape? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it was my my favorite top top five Gen Four Pokemon. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> <laughs> back to Frostlass. Um. What to say about Frostlass? I like its type. Has clearly more weaknesses than Sableye. Um. Fast, hits hard, pretty, so pretty. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. It, it's hard to say a lot about Fr Frostlass personally because I used it once and um, it ended up failing me in my greatest time of need. In my uh, Wonder Lock I did by myself, it died to the first <gasps> no! elite four like it, it no not the first um the dragon elite four well, it's an ice type oh wait yeah <laughs> <Shit>. okay <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> moving on to Liddy's number four i feel like an idiot <laughs> my number four would be the nut because I used one in my playthrough of um, Alpha. That's what it was. And it, like, owned everything and was ten levels higher than everything else I had. And it learned Psychic. <laughs> By TM? Maybe. Because I, I don't think I... Yep. I haven't used a Binette, so yep. I don't know. I like um, it. I don't care what you like. <laughs> um, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, um, Lenny isn't really big into the competitive scene, so you won't get stats or how it fares in competitive. But she still loves the games, and I love that she got into the games because of me. 
So next number three, right? <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Look, I can't look at you because then I've got bop you in the face. I know. With the microphone. Every time you keep turning a little bit, I'm like, oh god, it's getting closer. <laughs> I don't have my glasses okay. on. So my number three, if you guys have been with the channel for a little by, while, it's our old mascot, Dusknor. Actually, Duskull was, but shh. <laughs> don't need to speak of those times. Yeah. Those were a dark time. <laughs> oh no. You're quite literally. <laughs> Light bulbs are out. <laughs> Couldn't sleep at no! night. No! <laughs> but anyways. Um, Dustnor is just... I really like Dustnor for its defensive stats. And I just realized this Dustnor in this picture is flicking us off. Oh my god, I love it! <laughs> because there's his thumb, there's his pointer finger. <laughs> Dustnor, don't give no shits. <laughs> That's why he's chained up. He misbehaved. Ooh. But, but um, I know in competitive, it's not that great. And that's because it has great defensive stats, but it doesn't have the HP to go with it. I think it has a really low HP. Um, but the shiny's red. Uh, not, <laughs> the Duskull's shiny's red, but uh, it changes. To what? Um, Dusknor is like blue. What? Yeah. What? Duskull and Dusclops are red, and then Dusknor is blue. What? I'll show you after the video. Okay. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> I feel like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> You're not an idiot. You just I'm didn't... an idiot. I'm new to this world. <laughs> You're new. Newer than you. You're new to the YouTubes. It is a strange beast. It is. <laughs> but, but, um, yeah, its defensive stats are good. HP isn't the best. Um, s speed's not the best either, but. But it's a tank. Yeah. Well, without the HP, it really can't be a good tank. That's why you have to breed Pain Split on it, in but my the opinion. The figure says it doesn't care it, what you have to say. Well, when it's dead, it should have cared. But. Wow. <laughs> Feisty. But let's move on to Lenny's number three. My number three is Frostlass. Kinda like my number four. Shut up! <laughs> Mine's better than yours. Look at that picture. I like Frostlass because it's a unique type. And it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much the same reason as me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Number two? My number two is Gengar. <laughs> I love that picture so much. <laughs> Just look at this Gengar. This is the happiest little motherfucker you'll ever see. He's shadow punching or something. It <laughs> I just like his tongue. <laughs> I feel like the shadow punch is going to be with his tongue. Oh my god. <laughs> that should be a thing now. Like, he's charging it up with his fist and he's going to put it on his tongue and just... <laughs> oh, that's kind of gross. Yeah. Actually... I don't know if that's okay. <laughs> yeah, but it would kill people. With its tongue. Like a badass. Like but a tongue, too. <laughs> that's what shadow it is. It's like tongue shadow, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the Clefairy was all a lie. But anyways, um... Competitive-wise, if you guys don't know, Gengar is like one of the only Pokemon that has been in OU since Gen 1. If you want to consider... Gen 1 competitive at all. Who needs competitive when you have storyline? <laughs> <laughs> but, um... And... I don't think it's Mega Puds and Ubers. I might be wrong. But it... Overall, it's a good Pokemon. I'm actually th debating on tweeting this to the King Nappy. You need to. I told you. I think I think he needs to see you this. Because it, it, it is hilarious. It's like... Tweet at him and be like, I found you <laughs> in the middle of Wonder Trade Wednesday. This is you, what you look like. <laughs> no, no, no offense to Nappy, but this kind of captures his personality. Like, if you don't watch the King Nappy, he is wild. He is loud. I love it. It is hilarious to watch. Um, but yeah. Competitive, if you're looking for an OU team member, go with Gengar. So then, Lenny's number two. My number two is Tremonaut. And, yeah, it's like Super Tank. Super Mega Tank. It's one of the two that's its type. 
the other one's Corvus. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say on my grass types. Yeah, I you messed were up. Wrong. Because I, I don't know, Gorgais just slipped from my mind. Can't forget Gorgais. Why not? Because I said so. But I wanna. Shut up. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, moving on to my number one is Chandelure. <laughs> and what to say about it? It's fire type. If you've learned anything from this channel, it's that you should love Chandelure, and that's it. <laughs> Nothing else. I, I'm pretty sure it's my number one fire type, and now it's my number one ghost type. Because it's so beast. It, it hits hard. The only problem I have with it is you, unless you have the Shadow Ball TM, you gotta wait until like level 52 to evolve it with the Dusk Stone. 52 um, or 53. I've done that before. It's okay to wait. I know you're very impatient. Yeah, but it's okay I, to wait. I did it on my black two with Audino training, and like, I got it to fifty two, and I'm like, I'm gonna go find a dusk stone because I don't have one light yet, and it leveled up to fifty three, and then two minutes later, I found the TM for Shadow Ball. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, sucks to be you. No, <laughs> that's why you use the internet. <laughs> well, like I saw the TM, but I'm like, I'll get the dusk stone first. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways. Um, its design is amazing, typing's pretty good, speed's pretty good, special attack is off the charge. I don't even think there's another ghost fire, is there? I don't think so. I think it's... I, I think it's a unique type. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's a unique type. Dual typing's for the win. Yeah. Yeah. So then let's go to Liddy's number one. Also, <gasps> Chandelure, because oh that's my, my baby. I <laughs> never knew. <laughs> right? We never would have guessed from the fact that you have to have a Chandelure in everything. <laughs> it's no. Not, it's not like you like threatened to beat me with a chair if I don't put it on a list somehow. Just once. Fair warning, guys. Next one is top five poison type. Chandelure is number one. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Joking. It's not even poison. Shh. Don't ruin it. Oh, I'll give it a Toxic Orb. There you go. Now there you go. Now it's Poison type. Winner. That's how Toxic Orb works, right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Um. Do you want to say anything more about Chandelure? No, I'm okay. Because you say it all during mine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed our special guest, Lenny. I hope... <laughs> You guys enjoyed her company, and maybe I'll have her back again. Maybe. Oh, I feel yeah. the love. I'll have to convince her to talk about something other than Chandelure. No. I'll be like, okay, hon, we're doing top five poison types. Okay. Litwick. Litwick. <laughs> Lampin <laughs> and top Chandelure. Three goes Litwick, Lampin, and <laughs> Chandelure. <laughs> Oh. I don't know if you'd do that one with me because you don't like poison types. I don't really like poison types. <laughs> so. I find it insignificant. <laughs> like rock you and drown because I can't tell the difference. <laughs> and I never learned the effectiveness of those. <laughs> she, she's only been playing for about a year, guys. <sighs> um, she Almost two years now, right? How long was it before I convinced you to play? Like, six months after we started dating. So, a year and a half. Two months from now will be our two-year anniversary. Shh, you are wrong. That is August. Or three months, sorry. No, you're still wrong. That's September. No. Five. No. Five. It was four last time we looked it up. No, because you did it wrong, and I just didn't want to explain it to you. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'll. We'll look it up after the video to see who's right. I'm right. I don't think you're right. I'm right for <laughs> once. <laughs> <laughs> but let's wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you next time. Peace.